All right, Shalom. 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 All right, we're the brothers here out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. First and foremost, we're going to give our praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. This is Gamal Yala. Karatazai. Karatazai. All right, and uh, yeah, we're here um, just with a quick lesson. Um, Lord willing, y'all are edified. Um, this is going to be in, uh, entitled, um, it's, uh, it's not going to happen in our lifetime. All right, and um, you know, that's a phrase that we've heard from people over the years, you know, uh, basically people that don't believe that we're in the times of Yahweh Shai's return and in, in the times of judgment, all right? You know, people will say, you know, especially older people, you know, they, they'll basically say, you know, oh, it ain't going to happen, you know, it ain't going to happen in this lifetime, you know, it's, it's right. going to happen 100 years from now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, you know, when you because because you, they've seen COVID, I mean, they've seen um, famines come and go. I mean, uh, you know, crises, dis disastrous times come right. and go. Mm -hmm. And usually they bounce back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they feel like, well, everything that happens, it's just going to bounce back. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why they, they feel like, you know, no matter how bad it gets we're not you know we're not really at the end but hey we're telling you we at the end man you know all the things there's only a few more prophecies left you know what i'm saying we we really in them times sure. unlike unlike what these people will uh will say so uh i guess we'll start with that um uh habakkuk 2 um i get it it says uh i will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me, mm -hmm. and what I shall answer when I am approved. Mm -hmm. Brother, want to um, uh, yeah, if I can say, mm -hmm. um, hey, because the Lord, you know, uh, set the prophets up as the watchman, you know, mm -hmm. and you know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, we read out the Bible, you know, this was written hundreds of years ago, but you're not taking it into consideration that at each time, you know, uh. You know that a, a certain event happened is is uh is closer to your Howard Bosch and your Shah return. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's where these people get mis uh, misconstrued. It's like the uh you know, the boy who cried, cried wolf almost. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. like, oh he ain't he ain't he ain't coming this time. This because yeah, Russia and America been, you know, at war since you know, since forever, man. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. But they little do they realize it's just gonna be. It's, it's like a, a ticking bomb, man. Right. You know, and they get they get all last day, last days cool. You know, and not considering that the Lord is about to return. You know, and the Lord mm -hmm. set the, the prophets up to to send that warning out, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you got it. It says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. Yeah, and that's what we're mm -hmm. doing, man. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and we are writing the vision and making it plain upon tables. Mm -hmm. You know, don't take the MOTB. You know, if you are an Israelite, a repent to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and you have a chance to be saved from the nuclear missiles, man. That's right. that's making it plain upon the tables. Mm -hmm. that's right. You know, simple. You know, to those of them who's willing to take heed, because mm -hmm. everybody, we know, uh, was the Isaiah 29, mm -hmm. Romans the 11th chapter. We know that the truth is for everybody, man. Right. You know? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, mm -hmm. but at the end it shall speak That's and right. not lie. That's right. It says at the mm -hmm. end it shall speak and not lie. You know, so like the captain is saying, hey, we're at the end, man. But why? Because the, the scriptures are literally speaking, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the prophecies, like, like we always say, the prophecies are popping like popcorn. Mm -hmm. You know, every time you turn around, you know, there's something going on to the point where you can't even keep up with everything, man. Yeah. You know, right. you got Russia, you know, you got the bear, you know, in America going at it, you know, with Ukraine, you got uh, the pestilence, you got famine, you know, and so on mm -hmm. and so forth, man. So, hey, <clears throat> and it says that he may run that readeth it, man. Okay. Right. So, hey, we're, we're, we're understanding hey, the time that we're in, man. You know, I got a precept too. Yeah. Uh, let me finish up. It okay. says, uh, though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. Mm -hmm. It will not tarry. And that's really what these people are are saying in so many words. Oh, it's tarrying. Mm 
Mm-hmm. It's to tarry means, you know, to basically take, right. you know, take a while. Mm-hmm. Um, but it says, though it tarry. So it does tarry because, hey, I mean, you know, you know, even with our elders and apostles, they've been waiting for, you know, yeah. 20, right. 30 years. So it may seem like, well, damn, you know, when is this thing going to happen? But it, but it says wait for it. Mm-hmm. So that's the whole point is wait for it. It's, it but it says, though it tarry. It says, uh, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. So it's going to surely come. But that's why a lot of people, they lose faith. Mm-hmm. All right, It's because they feel like, oh, well, it ain't happened yet. So it ain't mm-hmm. never going to happen. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. And the reason why they feel that way, really, because they don't, they don't have an understanding of prophecy. <laughs> yeah. And that the mm-hmm. Habashim Yahushua is dealing on a whole other level of time. Mm-hmm. You know? And... You know, like the Yahweh Shem Yahshad deals with levels of gradualism mm-hmm. on the right hand side and the left hand side. Right. Mm-hmm. So the prophecies that you you see what's going on, you see pretty much the MOTB is pretty much here, but you see it's still certain things that gotta transpire and manifest before Esau can just outright just push it. Right. So mm-hmm. That's why I feel like it's tarrying, but really at the same time, it's really moving fast. Yeah, very that's fast. like that's like the 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 other side of it, like mm-hmm. it's like Tell me to come on, man. Yeah. But then it's like at the same time, it's like he's kind of moving fast too. Right. Right. So that's like the whole, you know, the whole thing to it, man. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. You got it. You got it. Okay. Uh, this is Ephesians five and fifteen. It says, "See then that you walk circumcised." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know. So when you go into that word redeeming, it goes into body mm-hmm. because what the days are evil, man. Mm-hmm. And this is you know like the brother brought out the precept and have a good the second chapter. You know, a hey, the days are evil, man. You know, the pro like the prophecies are coming to pass. You know, even though you know, like the uh, bishop was saying, you know, it may not, and that's where a lot of guys, you know, uh, start doing their own thing. I'm not saying names, you know, but they start doing their own thing or they start, you know, unbelieving. They lose faith. They lose faith because the prophecies is not happening on their like, time. on their time, man. You know, no, we're we're working uh, on the Lord's time, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's a beautiful point. Yeah, because, hey, this is all the Lord's time. Matter of fact, I got something real quick. Yeah. This is, um, see, Ecclesiastes 3. Mm-hmm. And a time to every purpose under heaven. Mm-hmm. So what is that? That's the Lord's time. Yeah. You know? Now, I'll skip down. It says, um. I'll just keep going. A time to be born and a time to die, mm-hmm. a time to plant, a time to pluck up mm-hmm. that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. Now, I can keep going. It just it keeps going on. Uh, well, verse 8, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. So as you see, there's a duality, mm-hmm. and this is all the Lord's. This is all the, the, the Lord's program, okay? So yeah. he has particular times for everything. But right now, if you're in the spirit of, of, if you're just in the spirit and you're paying attention, if you have the Holy Spirit and you're able to discern the times, yeah. what precept is that? Uh, discernment the times. Um, I, I find it. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, um. You know, if if you if you have the spirit of the Lord and you're able to discern the times, then you know exactly. that this is the time to break down. This is not the time to build up. Yeah, yeah. This, well, it's the time to build up the elect. If you're looking at it from that, but if we're th- if we're talking about this kingdom, right, and this current, you know, yeah, state that we're in, this is the time to to you know break time down. of war. This is not the time of peace. Yeah, and the scripture mm-hmm. say, uh, was that Malachi? You know how they uh, how they build. You know, but it says what that the Lord is gonna yeah. throw down, mm-hmm. or, or or tear down. You know, mm-hmm. and if I could say a quick point, I know yeah. Bishop got a precept too, because it said uh, in the precept that you read, it says it's a time and season for everything. But so when you read Ephesians the fifth chapter, it says that you walk circumspectly. Mm-hmm. So when you walking circumspectly, you understand the time and season that you're in. Mm-hmm. You know, like brothers are going into. Hey, this is the time. Where of of war, man. Mm-hmm. So if you're not in that that warlike mentality, you know that Jacob trouble can pop off at any time or any second, and you then you'll get caught, man. You get caught lacking. 
Mm-hmm. For uh, lack of better terms. Yeah. But uh, you got it. Good job. Kind of like you think it was, was quoting. Yeah, Matthew 16. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, that was it. Yep. Matthew's uh, 16. I start to uh, I start the top. It says, The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came, and tempting desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. Verse 2, he answered and said to them, When it is evening, he said, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. Yeah, which the Pharisees and Sadducees, they always used to tempt Yahweh Shai. You know, they would always, you know, try to throw things out of his way to try to get him, you know, to trip up. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you know, basically scoffers, you know. Um, but uh, go ahead. It says. Yeah, verse mm-hmm. three. And in the morning, it will be a foul weather today for the sky is red and lowry. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky but can ye not discern the signs of the times? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so your house shy really cut them because it's like, you know, all right, well, you know, you inquiring, you know, uh, that a sign from heaven, you know, so your house shy basically broke down the, the physical, mm-hmm. the, um, you know, the, yeah. the physical, uh, um, how do I say, the sky, mm-hmm. you know, the signs of the sky, but he says the signs of the times. Which what is signs of the times? That's that's the time we're living in. The the evil we just read. We're in evil times, okay? Evil. We're in bad bad times are coming to the earth. That's right. But you know that's like almost an answer to uh, yeah. How it's almost an answer to when people say um, it ain't gonna happen in this time. Yeah, yeah. You could almost say that same statement where you can't discern the times. Exactly. The signs of the times? Exactly. Because the, because the scriptures give you certain tokens, like the precepts and the prophecies, mm-hmm. to let us know uh, basically where where we are on the on yeah. the That's why you got to pull that second Matt, measure's nine. Second yeah. measure's nine. Uh, yeah. Because they tell you that. You can uh-huh. measure the time. You're supposed to re- basically, you're supposed to revert back to the scriptures to see, <laughs> okay, the Lord said this is going to happen. Mm-hmm. You know, this is going to happen. Then this is gonna happen, so that, that lets us know that we gotta be at the end. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll get that second as a nine. Um, Matter of mm-hmm. fact, I had, I had a preset okay. like before. Yeah, that. go ahead. I bring it out real quick. This mm-hmm. is uh, back in Habakkuk verse uh, five. It says, "Behold, ye among the heathen, in regard and wonder marvelously, mm-hmm. for I will work a work in your days mm-hmm. which ye will not believe, though yeah. it be told you." Ooh, you're going to this, and you go into the scripture, really, because they, they quote the scripture in the book of Acts when the when the uh, when the when the Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners, mm-hmm. woke up to the truth. Yeah, and that was like the that was like the fulfillment of that because they quoted that scripture. Yeah, but you can apply it basically to the prophecies in general. Mm-hmm. We're telling them something that's going to happen in 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 their days, like you said. Yeah. You say, oh, it's not going to happen in our lifetime. It's going to be two hundred mm-hmm. years in the future. Yeah, nah, it's going to happen in your days, and what people don't believe it. Right, even though uh-huh. it was told to them. Exactly, yeah. and that's not that. If I can add, that ain't no scripture talking about how you go uh, get a bag, or you about to just be some you know rich, famous, right? You know, because that's how Christians try to push it. Yeah, you know, yeah, they try yeah. to spin it like some, yeah. like some, some type of positive message. You know, right, we're well, about to bring heavy judgment down and, and bring these prophecies to pass. That's man. right. Yeah, but it said the point is said it said in your days. Mm-hmm. You know, so this is like the Lord like foretelling. You know what's gonna happen in the future, man. Right. Yeah, and it's like Romans three and three. For what is something not believe? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shall that make the faith of the Most High without effect? Yeah. Right. So just because you don't believe doesn't mean that just right. because you don't believe and and you don't feel like you know it's gonna happen in our lifetime that right. don't mean that don't mean nothing because your opinion is really in vain. Yeah. Your opinion is really out of ignorance. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So you you don't know. You know, you have eyes that you should see, eyes that that you cannot see, and ears that you cannot hear. hear yeah. You know, you got it. Uh, was that it? Yeah. That was that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Second Ezra nine. Uh, he answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou see part, when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before." Now, if I can say it, you go mm-hmm. to that word measure. The, uh, another word for measure is to judge, mm-hmm. which means to analyze carefully. You judge something, you're looking at it in, mm. in, in a very 
focused way. Yeah. Know? She's supposed to be measuring the times. Yeah. That's why how she said, what, watch you as well as pray. Watch you, yeah. You know, walk in the light, you know, mm-hmm. sober, you know, sober, vigilant, yeah. you know, be circumspect, always constantly watching, watching mm-hmm. the news and watching this, watching that, these different events happening. Right. And you're supposed to measure it and judge it according to what the scriptures say. Right. You, know? you got to yeah, it says, "Then shalt thou well understand. Then shalt thou understand that is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the earth which he made." See, when you do that, you have a. It says, it says "Thou shalt well understand this yeah. is the time when the Lord is about to visit the earth." Mm-hmm. Which the word "visit" means to judge, man. So you're yeah. supposed to be looking at things going on, looking at Russia, Ukraine, mm-hmm. like prices going, which is really only the beginning. Yeah, like, yeah, like the Apostle, like, like Apostle Rakai said, it's really just like one. Uh, one domino being knocked down is going to lead to the next one being knocked yeah. down. And you know how you look at the yeah. domino set up and just start right. going around. So, hey, you know. Yeah. Hey, if, if I can yeah. add real quick, yeah. that, that, that goes into measuring the time. Yep. Because just even understanding the order of the prophecies, you know, because we understand that what the MOTB has to be implemented exactly. before the, the destruction comes. Exactly. Before the missiles come. Exactly. You know, so that's understanding the order of the prophecies as well because some people may jump. Straight to the missiles. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, but so what about the mark? You know, or what about Jacob exactly. Trouble? You mm-hmm. know, like how these guys trying to run away, or oh, Jacob Trouble already happened. Yeah. No, it didn't, man. We're in the we're in the time of it. You know, yeah. but we have to go through that, man. Exactly. Like right. the scriptures say. Mm-hmm. It says, Therefore, when thou sh- when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the mm-hmm. world, which uh Bishop, you you always like to bring that out. Yeah. Earthquakes can also be symbolic of uh Earth-shaking events. Yeah, yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? So that's the times we're in, man. Which, yeah. like you said, you mentioned the dominoes. So it's always something going. It's always something major going on that's gonna lead to the next domino being knocked down. Yeah, and and all of it, all of this is furthering America's downfall. Yeah, if one thing goes back to, because like like for instance, uh, you could say COVID, right? Well, COVID is quote unquote gone. But guess what? The next domino fell. It caused the next domino to fall, which is which is uh the uh the situation in Ukraine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And guess what? The situation in Ukraine that's gonna turn into something else. Yeah, exactly. Domino and, effect. And then and then it's like none of these situations just really disappear. Yeah. They still there. The right. the effects of it are still. Exactly. The effects of it never go away. You know what I'm saying? But verse 4, it says, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as it, for like as it is, as all that is made in the world hath the beginning and an end, mm-hmm. and the end is manifest. That's, yeah. that's, 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 that's a prophecy. Yeah. It said, Then shalt mm-hmm. understand the Lord spake of these things from the days that were before thee. That's a mm-hmm. prophecy. Yeah, yeah. He's spoken through the mouth of the prophets, not a Happening on earth. That's why it says, the verse you read it says, "In the end is manifest." Yeah, right. Manifest means to be made to basically to to, to uh, basically to be made obvious or clear. Yeah, mm-hmm. something's manifest. Like okay, it's happened. Uh-huh. Right. Exactly. See, that's that basically the very definition of prophecy. That's yeah. it. That's, that's it. it. You know, and that, that's why we're able to uh, go into these topics, like uh, when you go into like we were speaking, you go into Revelation. You know, you you're able to go into what uh, John was saying. Mm-hmm. The visions or what Daniel was saying because we're living in those times. Right. You know, we're able to put the prophecies together, man. You know, about who the bear is and who the dragon is, you know, who the who the leopard is, you know, because we're living through those times, man. And that's another uh, example of a, that, that Yahweh Shai is going to return in this generation. Man. Right. You know, that's right. So, um, y'all got anything else? Uh, yeah, I, I got some. Okay. Okay. There you go. Uh, we'll close the play. All right, fine. This is Matthew 24 and 29. Uh, it says, uh, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened. And it says, And the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign. Yeah, yeah. It's said that the, mm-hmm. what, the sun and the moon shall be darkened. Mm-hmm. It's going to... Uh, is the, the, the wisdom not is going to stand to this world mm-hmm. failing? Mm-hmm. You know, Esau and his enchantments and you know sorcery he got going on the left hand side. All oh, that's going to mm-hmm. fail. Mm-hmm. And then that's literal too because 
what, the sky's going to be dark. covered with literally dark. Uh, literally dark like the chariots. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead. Verse 30. And then shall and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Mm -hmm. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in, in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a direct link up with uh, Revelation 1 and 7. Mm -hmm. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also those that pierce him. Yeah. And it says, oh, Even even the, the, the kindreds of the earth shall wail. Yeah. You go to that word kindreds, it means, it, it means the, the nations, but really it means the uh, tribes of Israel. Yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. Jay going, two thirds going to see the Lord. Like, oh, shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, crying, wailing. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, that's the, that's the judgment coming up, you know, coming yeah. to get their ass, man. Yeah, kind of. mm -hmm. You see? But like you said, it's it's a it's a it's a order. It's a, it's a order. And it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a sequence yeah. of things that have to happen. Mm -hmm. So no, America's not going to be destroyed tonight. Right. <laughs> right. Hey, right. You know, the missile could shoot the missile tonight. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's, you know, nah, bro. Cause the, yeah. The, uh, MOTB, like you said, the MOTB right. got to cut. It's other prophecies. You know, about, 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 about the uh, Famine, right? The famine. Oh, yeah. uh, the persecution. The person. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. the, the uh, um, hour, the hour temptation. Yeah. So, 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 so the Lord kind of. That's why I said, uh, you know, you brethren are not in darkness. Oh yeah. That they right. should overtake you as a thief. Mm -hmm. We got a level of understanding of, you know, the Lord kind of gave us like a teaser. Right. Like like a, like a like a spoiler to the movie. Like we, like we kind of know what's going to happen, right. so we could properly prep ourselves to get. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, more than that. Uh, it's one more verse mm -hmm. in uh, verse thirty-one, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of he of heaven to the other. Yeah, and that's it. hey, that's that's mm. the uh, the the end. That's the, that's, the yeah. end. that's the end. You know, the Lord gathering his elect from the winds. You know, from from. Uh, from all the earth, man, from one end of heaven to the other, that's the times we're in, we're living in. That's it, that's it. You know whether these people, because these, you know, these people, they don't, they don't truly believe we're in the end times. You know, and too, and if they do, glorious return. Oh, kind, yeah, yeah, glorious it says it right return. here. It says it right here. The yeah. glorious return, right there. Yeah, that's the order, Ooh. man. Yeah. yeah, that's the time. Hey, that's the times we're living in. The glorious return. Un yeah. Whether you people want to acknowledge it and you think it's gonna happen, you know, two hundred, three hundred, three hundred years later, man, it ain't gonna. Ain't got that long, yeah. man. It don't got that long, man. Yeah. You know, if that's why, uh, uh, I think in the same chapter it says, "Except those days be shortened." Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right, right. No, no flesh shall be saved. Exactly. Yeah. So, so. Hey, the, the days got to be short, or else Esau would just fucking destroy everything. Destroy you know, so. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll end off on that. Lord, Lord willing, y'all were edified. Uh, we're gonna end off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh yeah. by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Shemakakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.